Hello everyone, myself Marathi, welcoming you all to this math video session. Right, uh, here in this question or in this video, I'm going to deal with the logarithms chapter. Uh, it's a tricky question, little bit uh, examination point of view also you can expect as an um, essay question for you. So let's go to the question in this straight away. It's a lengthy one. So, okay, here he has given 2.3 whole to the power x is equal to 0 0.23 whole to the power y equals 1000. Okay, and what he wants, find the value of 1 by x minus 1 by y. I repeat, here we are having 2 is equal to 2 variables. Okay, and he wants the value as 1 by x minus 1 by y. So as you know, or as I have discussed earlier in my Y videos, when he is asking us to find the value, what he is expecting? He is expecting an answer in terms of a number. That is what you have to remember. So whenever he is asking something like value, means uh, this will be what will be the number. What's the value of that? Is it 7? Is it 2? Is it 2 by 3 or 7 by 5? Whatever it might be. He is asking about a number. So Vivi is asking. Now let's get back to the question. And please remember, we are having 2 is equal to. So That's stressing on that one more. So let's go back. So given. So what he has given to you, I like to write 2.3 whole to the power x is equal to 0 0.23 whole to the power y equals 1000. This is what the question is. Okay, fine. So my logic is I'm still thinking I'm not sure, but the way you are supposed to. Let's do one thing. The 1000 present here, write in terms of power. Write in terms of power. Can I write this as something like 2.3 whole to the power x is equal to 0 0.23 whole to the power y and wantedly I am writing it as 10 to the power 3. Hope, hope, hope you to accept with me. Okay, okay. Then what I am doing means we are having, so this is a variable, an expression with variable and this is also variable, uh, right, uh, a con and an expression with variable but this is completely a constant. So what my plan is, I like to equate this with this constant and I like to equate this with this constant and make it as to separate. That's my logic here. So what I'm doing, 2.3 whole to the power x, I like to write it as 10 to the power 3. So what I'm doing, a variable with a constant. Okay, now I like to pair up these two also, 0 0.23 whole to the power y is equal to 10 to the power 3. So what did I do? You, you please check it out. One variable with a constant and the second variable paired up with a constant. That's the trick what we are going to play here. Okay, then what to do? Then what to do? Now, step by step, what I am doing, the variable present here, I want to stay shift it to the other side. I like to shift it to the other side. So what I'm taking, it's nothing but 2.3 is equal to, if I send this uh, x to the other side, it will become 10 to the power 3 pi x. You have to remember this one. In the same way, if I send this y to the other side, it becomes 0 0.23 is equal to 10 to the power 3 by y. I said clear. Hope you are able to understand. The x what is present here, I have transposed. It became 3 by x. And y present here, transpose. It becomes 3 by y. So now, okay, I am moving. I am writing this as in a similar way. 2.3 is equal to 10 to the power of 3 by x. I am writing in the same way. Now if you check it out, this is 2.3. And here it is 0 0.2. There is a slight difference between both of them. Otherwise, everything is same. Okay, what I want to do is, I want to make 0 0.23 look like 2.3 by making some calculations there. Okay, so what I am doing, can I write that 0 0.23 if I multiply with something like 0 0.23, right? So I am multiplying and dividing by 10. Okay, is equal to as usual 10 to the power 3 by y. Have you say have you observed what I want? I want this 0 0.23 also look like 2.3. Okay, so how many places I am planning to make it jump? I want this to jump one place 
okay so one place means how many zeros one zero that is nothing but ten so i can't only multiply that i'm multiplying and dividing by ten so that this jumps to one step forward so that it looks like 2.3 i think you got it so i want oh i'm writing only that stuff now after multiplying 0 0.2 with 10 it will become 2 by 3 of course this 10 is there here we are having 10 to the power 3 by y have you seen i have multiplied this i have multiplied 0 0.23 with 10 and it became 2.3 means the decimal jumped one place the decimal jumped one place and became 2.3 so i want to compare i want uh, the second one also to look like 2.3 now i got it very good i got it i made changes but if you notice we are having this 10 extra all right send it to the other side so what i am doing the 2.3 i left it here right 10 to the power 3 by y is already there the 10 which is there in the denominator i sent to the other side to multiply you got it you got it the denominator i sent it to that side my concept is i want to make 2.3 look like this only now we know if there is no one on the top it's nothing but power one now if you check it out 2.3 equals shall I write 10 to the power already we are having 3 by y and here the plus 1 you know a to the power m into a to the power m is equal to a to the power m plus n bases are equal in between into power should be added so you got it you got it now so you see here 2.3 is equal to 10 to the power of 3 by x here 2.3 is equal to 10 to the power of 3 by y plus 1 now the trick is now you box this one okay call this as equation one okay now you box this okay you call this as equation two you got it now if you check it out from equation one and two here also 2.3 is equal to something here also 2.3 is equal to something shall i equate them yes my concept is equating from equations one and two what is that this equals this i think you got it so 10 to the power 3 by x is equal to 10 to the power 3 by y plus 1 so you might have seen what i did i have eliminated 2.3 and 2.3 why because from equation one question is equal to answer question is equal to answer then answer is equal to answer in the same way i got it now if you check it out again again we can apply one more rule a to the power m equals a to the power n implies m equals n if bases are equal in between is equal to is there then the powers are also equal basing on that i'm equating only the powers 3 by x is equal to 3 by y plus 1 you got it so see there we are close to that we are close to that we are having 1 by x fine we are having 3 by x here is equal to is there of course we are having y towards this side but we are having y towards this side but almost to close so what i like to do as x and y are towards only the same side i will bring this y term also towards the x side so that's the trick 3 by x i am selling this one here minus 3 by y is equal to this side what we are having 1 so again compare so 1 by x we have got 3 by x minus minus 1 by y we got 3 by y is equal to the number we got of course we are waiting for the number of course we got by time now we got only 1 but we don't have 3 here so what I am doing I am taking that 3 as a common so if you take 3 as common now what is left over 1 by x minus 1 by y is equal to 1 now check it out is it close now shall i send this 3 to the other side yes so 1 by x minus 1 by y is equal to 1 by as it is multiplying if it goes to the other side it's divide so 1 by x minus 1 by y what is the value i got it's nothing but 1 by 3 thank you In this channel, I have been placing both math and science videos.